today I'm going to be testing the Olilia bottles. These are roll-on bottles or roller bottles, some people call them. Um, let's see. They come with this little thing. They call it a key. It helps you to remove or put on the balls or those little plastic tops that help you to just pour out the oil one drop at a time. So um, this is a handy little tool. Inside the box down in there is a foam insert that holds them all securely upright without banging into each other. So that's a good way to have them packaged. The set comes with four colors. This one is the amber glass or brown glass, um, which is always helpful for anything like essential oils to preserve the healing properties in them. Here is the green colored outside one. It is glass on the inside. It's just coated in a green metallic finish that's really pretty. So to use these, of course, we're going to have to remove the roller balls and um, so just pop it off with that and I'll just put it there until I get ready to put it back on in a few minutes. Uh, this is the frosted glass one and it's going to let more light in so I would be sure that this is kept in a place out of the light when you fill it up with anything that is sensitive such as your essential oils. And we have a flashy color, a nice magenta clear glass and I believe that this probably will block some light but it's not going to block all the light. It is fairly transparent so Again, I would keep it out of light. Okay, so I'm ready to start filling my bottles. I'm going to go ahead and put the almond oil in all of them. Having a little bit of transparency is nice for that reason. I'll be able to see how much I'm pouring in with all the other bottles. The green ones are the only ones that um, will be a little more difficult. So this is not the best way to do this, but the tops of these bottles are just big enough that if I'm really careful I can pour the oil in straight from my oil bottle and I'm able to see the level of the oil. Hopefully you're able to see that. I can clearly see the level of the oil. Okay. So I've got all my bottles, um, mostly filled with oil, and I'm going to start with some Lang Lang in the frosted one. And I need to remove this to be able to use this, so I'm going to um, use the key. And that is so nice and handy. I really like that. And there we go. Now I can press the roller ball on. There we go. shake test right here for you. Open it up and I don't know if the camera will actually get in there but 
there's not any drops of oil down in the side inside of the cap you know um, you can see the roller bottle is not dripping hopefully you can see that no drips okay so I got my tea tree oil bottle filled and got the roller ball on. I'm having just a little trouble with the lid. It goes on and it gets to a point where you feel like it's almost closed and yet it doesn't want to get, you know, tight and stop turning. Um, the pink one, for example, let me take it off screw it down it gets tight and it stops you know it's totally on and that's good all right so after I had a little trouble with my tea tree oil bottle I decided to go ahead and check all the lids on all of them and only one other bottle had the same problem and it happened to be another brown bottle it's a little odd you know it tightens down like 95% of the way and then it just kind of just keeps turning and then when you want to open it if you just twist like normal it just goes round and round and round you have to kind of squeeze the sides to get it to actually unscrew off the bottle so I think it's getting tight but I think that the liner on the cap might have some slippage going on it could be that the white part on the inside is fine, but this part is slipping. The rest of these all seem to be great. The roller balls themselves are all smooth and fitted just right so that, you know, they're not going to leak too much oil or anything. Okay, so I have left all four of these laying here today <coughs> on this tissue paper just to make sure none of them were leaking and I don't see any leakage in them so that's good okay so I have really been enjoying using these um, even the one with the lid that wasn't quite right, they don't leak. <clears throat> um, and I just squeeze a little to open the lid and get what I need. I love being able to just roll on where I want it and not have to get my hands messy. Um, the brown is great when, for um, if you want to make up a bottle for a man. Um, you know, my husband, these are all too feminine looking for him, but he's okay with the brown glass to take with him when he travels. I love keeping these in my purse. Um, I put some uh, stress relieving blend in a green one like this that I keep in my purse. I'll, I love it now. It's just wonderful. With this set, you have a good variety of styles and colors so that You'll have something for everyone in your family or everyone on your Christmas list, whatever you want to do with them. Or they're just great to think of, you know, color coordinating so you don't have to label them. You know, the brown, I think of tea tree oil, and of course when you open it, you're going to smell it for sure. The green, I think of the uh, green peppermint leaves. And um, so that's an example of how you can think and um, just come up with your own plan of color coordinating depending on which oil you want to put in it. I love this little key. It's fabulous. So handy. So I love the set. I think they're great and I'm enjoying using them. And So I definitely recommend this set. <laughs>